Rob takes it down. It's a uh, great fighting going on there, but it goes out of bounds. Well, the out of bounds lines were the shed on one side, and there was a row of trees on the other side that were our east and west boundaries. Um, and the pole itself, anything beyond the pole, we tried to call out of bounds, but then when we spray painted lines, we actually gave enough room back there. You know, from behind the backboard was out anywhere on there, uh, if it went into the bushes or onto the shed, which sometimes was just played through if it hit off the shed, depend on how into the game everyone was. You know, in the corners, that was again, best judgment. It depends on, uh, you know, how the, uh, the other team called it. You know, maybe they could get away with it, you know. So again, it's all best judgment. But uh, ultimately, if the ball went into the actual woods area, past the poles, or hit the shed, that'd be out of bounds and in position would be uh, reversed. <laughs> if the ball hit the pole, it was still in play until it bounced past it at least. Anything off the pole was fine. If poles aren't out crunty, I mean, that's what I always think of because that's my big line to Jake on that uh, where he said, oh, you know. God! That's out. Hit the pole. Hit the pole. Hit the pole. It's out. The poles aren't out, Crunty. Usually the, the poles weren't considered out of bounds. That was in play. Uh, I think at one point I tried to enforce, you know, a foot or something behind the pole was actually in play. Kind of like uh, NBA or things like that where the basket extends out into the play so that you could theoretically sneak behind the pole. And I think at a few times, I probably not on tape, but I remember swinging around, grabbing the pole, coming from the other side, and trying to flip the basketball up into the rim. But we used it as an advantage, too. We try to go off. If the ball hits off the pole, a person that hasn't been out there that many times, we can't come up, take the ball, pass it down court, score a layup before they even thought about being out of bounds. So, I mean, the pole came in probably the biggest factor of anything playing out on the court.